one final thing we've done. This is probably the last time we'll make this video of this garage build, but we've got a couple more things. We've got lights now around the top of the building, and we also have a gas price sign on the corner of the lot. And you're probably wondering, what's this talk about Joe endorsing Trump? Well, I'm not talking about that other guy that what Joe, what's his name? I'm talking about Joe's Fire Plus. How do I know he endorses Trump? Well, look what I found over on the side of the building. Of course, there is a nice Pepsi sign. And man, look at that. MAGA, Trump 2024. You're probably wondering, how did we get here? Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Welcome back to Carrie Paints It. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're still going to paint something, but uh, it's going to have something to do with these model cars. These are models of cars that I have or have had in the last seven years. We've got a 67 Chevelle, 69 Chevelle, 31 Model A Street Rod, a 209, 2009 uh, Challenger, and a 68 Roadrunner. And these cars need some kind of uh, environment. I want to make like a diorama kind of a thing. And so today, I we're going to turn around here and going to lower us down a little bit. Because today, we got a package. We're going to open it up. And so we're going to see what's in the package that can facilitate my goal of having a diorama. So let's see what we have today. This just came and we're gonna see what's in here. It's gonna have to be car related, you know, so it'll be uh, interesting to see what this actually gonna look like here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Woo! Yeah. It is Joe's Power Plus is what it's called. But anyway, it's a service station, a model of a service station. And let's just open it up real quick and see what's inside. We'll be 124 scale, I think that's right. Look at that. Comes with all the things pictured, I believe, on the outside of this box. It's going to have the service station and the Gonna have the service station, gas pumps, oil can display, jack, compressor. Hopefully, you'll have a lift. And uh, let's see here, what we got? Yeah, there it looks like uh, the end of the compressor. Maybe. Yeah, we got oil drum. There's a compressor. Oil can. Here's the building. I guess those are the windows. And here are the sides that's going to make the building. Oh, uh, okay. And here's the platform. That it'll be on so it's gonna be so big so and, and it comes with all those decals to put on everything and so that will be cool with all the instructions all right so 
what we're going to do is um, when I'm painting the cars, we're going to, as time goes on, we're going to show this being put together and I'm going to try to paint it up so it looks realistic, all that good stuff. All right, welcome back to my model progress. Uh, this is what I've got so far. And I've got a backdrop and some trees. I've got the pumps painted, the building painted pretty much. I'm making a um, countertop to go inside here for the people. Yeah, like it's real. And uh, I bought today, I bought some lights that I hope will illuminate some things. And I've got, uh, I'm all about having fun with this kind of stuff, but there's a lot about this that is not fun. And uh, I'm just not cut out for it, I guess. But anyway, I want to show you my progress on this garage and the things I'm doing. First of all, parts are really small. I don't do well. I don't do well with small, tedious little things, and I don't have the patience for it. So uh, I'm not doing everything. It's that simple. Let me show you what I mean. But I got to put my glasses on to even see this stuff. Uh, anyway, this is the instructions. And you can see this part right here. You've got these two pieces that are held together by these three rods, so to speak. Anyway, these are the two pieces. Dang. These are the two pieces, and this is the rod. I can't even show it. That's supposed to go in between these two things. There's supposed to be three of them. I'm supposed to line it up, get the holes. Ugh. I'm not cut out for it. So, that is not getting done. But the other thing that's not getting done, or that was done differently, you can see in the directions here, it basically has two walls. And then what's on the back here are these strips of plastic that are supposed to be an open area, so I guess you can get stuff in and out. And so... This is what is supposed to be the, the back wall and the side wall, top and bottom. I thought, that is going to be so flimsy. I'm not doing it. So I made, I'll show you what it is. I made, uh, I made walls. This is what came with it. And it was all white, of course. And I painted it to look the way I wanted it to look. And then this is the other wall. And so what I did, I made out of some Luon uh, underlayment. And I made a back wall. And I made a side wall. And I made a wall dividing the garage part with the lift and the office area, I guess you'd call it. And so that's kind of where I'm at. And this is what I've gotten done so far. And I got the, the pumps made. There's a light that goes up here. And somehow I've lost that pole. And I don't know where it went, but it's gone. I can't find it in any of the things that they give us to put it together. And then the other thing is, I've got a, a stand with oil cans, and these are the oil cans that you've got to put the two halves together. Then you've got to put these decals on each one. I don't know if that's going to happen, because when I was putting this decal on, and I left it in the water just a hair too long. 
and it curled up and it got on itself. I could not save it. So I happened to have some decal paper and I made my own decal for this side and I scanned this one to make this one. So I was able to make my own decal, but I also made a decal for the uh, safety inspection sign. So there's inspections, and I made a little poster here for the window advertising drag races. And so it's kind of fun uh, creating those kinds of things. But um, the decals are, are really tricky for me. Because if you don't get it just right, you got a one-time shot at it, you mess it up, it's done. So anyway, the other things that I've done, I'm sorry to move the camera around so much, but I've got the uh, little creeper made and painted and watering can. Got the barrel and my compressor. I don't have it totally put together yet, but it's back in here. And I've got the, the lift made, and it's in place. You can see it there. And I happen to have these tires left over from models that I had when I was a kid. And we used to do uh, slot car racing. And uh, I had these slicks that uh, were left over from their – now they're still a little bit flexible, but they're kind of hard. But anyway, I have those. So those are good props. Um, to set around the garage and then I put cars with it and blah blah blah. So anyway, it's it's fun in that regard and I think it'll be it'll be okay. It's not um probably the quality. My work isn't the quality of people that do this all the time. I have a friend, Kent, that does model cars and airplanes and all kinds of things like that. He's excellent at it and he Gave me some tips this morning on what I can do. I don't know if I have the patience to do it, but uh, at least I know better. Uh, for one thing, I was telling him that, and I'll show it to you. There's a tire tool uh, on here somewhere, um, right there, right here. I was attempting to get that out and it broke off just trying to get it out. Look how thin that is. I mean, that's, that is so thin and delicate. And there's other pieces on here the same way that it's just not going to work for me to try to do that. So anyway, I want to give you an update and a progress report on how uh, it's coming along. I think it'll be all right. It'll be fun. And it got my street sign, my other sign done, and I'm hoping to have more stuff with it. But anyway, those were my dilemmas, and those were my concerns, and those were my successes and failures, and probably more failures than successes, but that's okay. Uh, it's all good. Um, you're just going to have fun with it. So anyway, that's my progress report on doing the garage model for my cars and uh anyway let me set one in front of it just so you can see i mean i've done these cars and these cars were a challenge to me as well but anyway i put my car with it and you know it it's fun and uh anyway it's just fun being a kid again so all right i got all my cars over there and that's another piece of the background here I may use, may not use. There's got a Coke machine. It's going to go in there. And then today I got some mechanics. So I'm going to have some people working on vehicles. And there's all the parts. Hopefully I'll be able to do them. And there's some more of my miniature stuff. Got the oil cans and the tires and the barrel. Anyway, it's kind of strewn all over my kitchen right now. And I'm in the process of uh, putting this together. I got a base done. And I've got tire marks. You know, they go into the building. I painted uh, 
checkered floor on, in the office, and you look close, you can see footprints going around the desk from the garage because they would track in grease and stuff. So anyway, it's just been fun putting it all together. And I've got some wheels in the window and a drag racing advertisement poster. And over here, I've got some decals, customer parking only. And I might put up something else on the side there. But anyway, that's kind of the progress I'm making uh, with this uh, build. I'm hoping I can get some lights in there and then hide the wire somehow and take it underneath. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. And uh, put my operating stuff on the back where I can flip a switch or whatever and hopefully lights will come on inside and out. Well, we'll see uh, how it goes. Anyway, that's my progress. Stay tuned for more. Okay, I know you're dying to see it. It's not done. I just slapped it together to get it out of my, so I could do some cooking for supper. Anyway, I kind of set it all up here and there's a, just a kind of a quick view and it's not totally done. So anyway, see you later. All right, first of all, you can see that I did get some lights figured out on how to have those lit up. And then with the flip of a switch inside my cabinet, Boom, we got lights. So anyway, what we've got, this wall back here is something that I had bought and had that in my garage for the, another display, and I decided it'd go well with this. But anyway, we've got my 69 Chevelle there with a couple guys working on it. We've got the jack. It's supported and the hood's up. We've got my 69, 68 Roadrunner there. And my coupe, 31 Model A coupe, my 67 Chevelle, and my 09 Challenger with a guy working under the hood. And you can see inside, I've got a guy at the desk. We've got the desk all painted up. We've got oil cans in the window and watering can and my wheels. And look on the wall back there and behind the service counter are some paintings. These are reproduction of paintings that I've done. We've got a 56 T-Bird. We've got the 40s Willies that I just painted not too long ago. We got Jed's Challenger and his dad, a Charger, I mean, in Jezebel and his dad's Charger painting back there. We've got another painting on the wall of American Graffiti. And we got some other pictures. There's a 66 Nova and a Dodge Dragster or Gasser over there back there and then we've got stuff in the window like i showed you before and then we've got a car on the lift this is not one that i had but it was a model that i put together and we've got other paintings on the wall back there paintings that i did reproductions there's that nova doing the wheelie and then we've got some other things on the wall there just to fill up the space got a guy working on a tire down there and we got the gas pumps and we got it all lit up and got the backdrop, got trees back there. And so this is basically how it turned out. Uh, it looks way different than it did before I even started. Also, what we made today was we got some toolboxes here and we got a jack, made another jack. And we have a, another toolbox, some tools. Another jack. So we've been making some tools last night and today that are going to uh, go with this setup as well. And also what we have made today is some workbenches. We've got a um, workbench there with some tools on it and a table with some disc brakes, some coilover shocks. And we've got another workbench that... Uh, has a laptop drill and whatnot on it. Anyway, these items are going to go and we'll get the light on here. And they are going to go in the workshop or the work bay area along that back left wall, back wall, and side wall. I'm hoping. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do as well. 
All right. Well, here we are. We've got it pretty much all done. Um, let's take a look here. Let's we'll see what we got. We've got our guys working on the Chevelle. And what I added today was some details in the office area. We've got some paper papers on the countertop. We got a guy working on a laptop, and there's papers in front of him. You can't see them. And then over here, we got our work benches in the shop, and we've got those with the tools on them. See if we can get a closer look at it. And there we are. Okay, got all of our tools ready to go. So. That pretty much does it for this garage, I think. Oh, let's turn the lights on at the pump. How about that? All right. I think we got it now. Anyway, there it is. There's a remote. First time I turned it on, well, after I got it all set up, and lo and behold, this is for the inside lights in the ceiling. Make them all different colors, whatnot. Lo and behold, remote quit working right after i put it in so what i did was i installed a in the cabinet i put an outlet where it's plugged in and then i had to run a switch to it and that's how i control the on and off of it instead of using the remote those were some of the frustrating things that I did but anyway all right well that brings us right back to where we started the video and we were talking about what the deal with Joe endorsing Trump. Well, Joe's Power Plus is endorsing Trump. And the reason is why these are hardworking American guys working at a gas station. And they're thinking back to how it was four years ago when inflation was like at 1.4%. We didn't have all the 100,000 fentanyl deaths of drugs coming over the border. We had secure borders. And Gas was cheaper back then under the Trump administration. And so why don't we just think about those things? November 5th is coming up. And why don't we just listen to Ray Charles America, saying, America the Beautiful, as we take one final look at this garage bill. America. You know, God done shed his grace on thee. Yes, he did. Heavy brotherhood from sea to shine and see. You know, I wish I had somebody to help me sing this. Again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message.